The case of the blackmailer on stage. Oh. Mm. But Mom, what will happen to us? Dad, we have to do something. Mm, it's okay, Philip. Everything will turn out fine. Oh. I'm sorry, son. Mm. <gasps> oh. You ruined the scene, Charlie. Mm. It's okay. It's time for lunch anyway. Good job. We're almost there. Opening night in just three days. Hmm. Come down, stage manager. Huh? Let's go have lunch. <gasps> let's see. Come on, let's go. I what? just huh? wanted to thank you again for this opportunity. This is a dream come true, Mr. Pinter. Ever since I was a child, I've secretly yearned to be an actor. Well, you don't have to thank me, Mr. Tomlinson. You're doing great as the father. <laughs> Mr. Pinter's a very nice guy. No, he's not. Huh? Since this ridiculous play started, you've completely avoided your detective duties. Not even the dog is working. What's he doing here, anyway? Dandy plays the family dog. Siggy okayed it. I don't understand where the appeal lies. Theater's a lot of fun. Ha! You don't fool me. You only signed up for this because Miss Stratford plays your mother and you get a kiss from her. What? That's not true. Do you know all your lines already, Steffi? By heart. Huh? Hmm. Uh, 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 Mr. Pinter, wait, you dropped uh, this. Oh, oh, thanks, Fred. Uh, d did you read it? Uh, no. <laughs> it's nothing important anyway. Hmm. <clears throat> well, I guess Miss Janice isn't here at the moment. See you after lunch. Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Charlie, what are you doing? My job. Well, enjoy yourself. We're hungry. If you care so much about Mr. Pinter, you'll want to see this. No exceptions or you'll have to pay. Blackmail. What? We don't really know that anything weird's going on. I saw the look on Pinter's face when you handed this to him. I tell you, this is a blackmail note. But is Pinter the victim or the blackmailer? I told you you had to pay or suffer the consequences. <laughs> Let's relax a bit, Fred, huh? now that Charlie is not around. All right, everyone. Before we start rehearsing again, I'd like to announce we've had a last-minute addition to our crew. Someone very passionate about theater has asked to work with us. I love his enthusiasm. So I've decided he'll be my assistant director. <gasps> Welcome, Charlie. <gasps> Thank you, Mr. Pinter. This is a dream come true. I know just how you feel. Okay, let's go back to scene 12. So, Mr. Pinter, how are you feeling? Um, very well, Charlie. Thanks for asking. Begin at line 62. Hmm. Miss Stratford, remember, this is a very tragic moment for your character. We have to see that. <laughs> Everyone knows about your secret past now, the crimes you committed when you were young. Hmm? You're about to leave for trial, and you're consumed by guilt. Terrified you'll be thrown in jail. I won't see my family again. Exactly. So, let's do this. It's okay, Philip. Everything will turn out fine. Oh, I'm sorry, son. Oh, oh. oh. Hey, I think I hit the wrong button. Oh. You need to practice more with the spotlights, Radish. Someone could have gotten hurt. Sorry, Mr. Pinter. It's okay. Let's take a short break. I have to take care of something. I'll be back in ten minutes or so. Huh? Hmm. Let's see what that means. Hmm. Huh? Come in. Mr. 
Janice's classroom. Could he be blackmailing her? Or maybe she's the blackmailer. Miss Janice is head of the arts program. She's the one that hired Mr. Pinter in the first place. They have plenty to talk about besides blackmail. Shh. Oh. I'm sorry, Werner. The school board is very strict about this. But I don't want more money. Just an advance on the salary we agreed on for directing the play. That's not how our budget works, I'm afraid. You'll have to wait till the end of the month. Yeah. My hands are tied. That's okay. Thanks for trying. Oh, Werner, I remember you as a student. You were so talented even then. I'm delighted that you're doing your own play right here at your old school. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Janice. Bye. Oh. Mm, that proves it's blackmail. I told you, he needs money right away to pay someone off. Maybe, but if Pinter is being blackmailed, he's a victim, Charlie. Exactly. All the more reason to help him. Charlie's oh. got a point. Uh, okay, guys. Uh, let's start again, please. Where were we? Uh, scene 12, Mr. Pinter. Right. Um, actually, <clears throat> let's jump ahead to the courtroom scene. I want to look at the blocking in that. Uh, uh, oh. We've rehearsed the kissing scene ten times now, and I haven't gotten a single kiss. Something keeps interrupting us. It's like a curse. <sighs> At last. So, Mr. Pinter is a very promising director. He's even won some awards. And guess what? Huh? He's rehearsing another play right now at the Municipal Theater. Two plays at the same time? Now that's suspicious. What's the address? <laughs> Don't fear me, my love. You're not my prisoner. You can go whenever you want. <sighs> oh. Fans, how are you kids? Do you want my autograph? Mm -hmm. Well, um... Don't be shy. Come closer to Titus. I promise not to bite. It's only the magic of acting that makes me appear so fierce and powerful. <laughs> You've got a pen. I really should carry one myself. This happens to me every time. And your names would be? Ah, never mind. I'll just write, From Titus. What a beautiful name I have. What? You know Mr. Pinter, right? Pinter? Yes, of course. He's my best friend. Soulmate. He casts me in all his plays. I'm his lucky charm. Uh, do you know him? He's writing and directing a play at our school. Huh? Uh, oh, yes. So I hear. Huh? Oh, hey, kids. What's up? That's what we'd like to know. I had some doubts about the final scene, Mr. Pinter, and I wanted to talk with you as soon as possible. Oh, well, in that case, come to my office. Huh. Hmm. So, Mr. Titus, you're a vampire, right? Yes, exactly. Une créature de la nuit. Terrifying and charismatic. <gasps> and I get to kiss the ladies. Mm -hmm. Well, I get a kiss in the school play, too. Oh, mm -hmm. very nice, young man. When kissing on stage, an actor has to be very confident. Like this. Mm -hmm. huh? <gasps> I'll have that kiss now, if you will. <laughs> for your help, Mr. Pinter. You're welcome, Steffi. The judge is an important role, and you're doing it very well. Now, if you don't mind, I have to get back to work. I'll see you tomorrow at school. Mm -hmm. I snooped around his office and found nothing. The guy is hiding something, though. I'm sure of it. Uh, <gasps> Wait. Have you done what you have to do? Huh? I'm not huh? sure I can do it. No. We're in this together, in case you have forgotten. We're in this together? What does that mean? Are they both being blackmailed? And if so, what did they do? <gasps> hmm. hey, 
<laughs> oh. Hey. Mm -hmm. <gasps> What's he doing here? I have an announcement to make. I'm very sorry, but I'm replacing you, Mr. Tomlinson, with another actor. This is Titus. Uh, what? But I don't understand. I is it the mustache? I can shave it off. I'll do anything. Uh, no. no, you've done nothing wrong, Mr. Tomlinson. I had promised the part of the father to Titus all along, and he's <laughs> suddenly become available. The plot thickens. Oh. He'll get over it. Rejection is part of life in the theater. Nice to meet everyone. You'll enjoy working with me. You would be my wife, I believe. Such huh? a fair creature. <sighs> okay, let's rehearse scene 11, please. Titus, Miss Trafford, that's you. About this scene, I think you should rewrite the ending. The characters should kiss. It would be more realistic. No, it wouldn't! Uh, I mean, I don't think we should start changing things. Uh, Mr. Pinter's play is great as it is. Uh. I must tell you something. It's better if you hear it from me. Uh, what is it, darling? What's the problem? Uh, not so dramatic, Titus. Yeah. What is it, darling? What's the problem? When I was young, I, I belonged to a gang of thieves. We robbed jewelry shops. Uh, uh, huh? To keep an eye on Pinter? Or intimidate him? No exceptions. What? You still have that blackmail note? Hmm. I've lived as a straight and honest woman for years, I swear. But now someone's found out about my past. Uh, you should never have dabbled huh? in crime, darling. Huh? That's not the line. The line is, who found out? I did. Uh, mess up the line, I mean. Sorry. Ugh. We'll take a one-hour break. You can study your lines. Huh? Hmm. Let's follow him. Go! He's about to rob the bank. What? <gasps> he needs money to pay off the blackmailer. Titus has bullied him into doing something desperate. Huh? Charlie, wait! Can I have some questions about my mortgage? Yeah, right this way. Excuse me, sir. What is it? That man over there, he's about to rob the bank. What? It's just a suspicion. We're not completely sure. Mm -hmm. Good morning. How can I help you? Uh, my name is Werner Pinter. I'm a customer here. And what can I do for you? Huh? Huh? Hands up! Where's the robber? What? Huh? It's him! What? What are you talking about, Charlie? I came here to ask for a loan. Ask him! That's true. Mr. Pinter was just asking me when the police arrived. Hmm. I should have known. This is one of your little uh -huh. games, isn't it? No! Come on, Martinez. We have better things to do. Uh, huh? Huh? Why did you tell them that? What did it ever do to you? We're really sorry. Uh, you went too far, Charlie. You wouldn't have gotten the loan anyway. Uh, what did you mean about the bank loan? Our files say Pinter has a criminal record. Huh? Huh? What do you want now? Mr. Pinter has a criminal record. You must have that in your police files. What did he do? I don't know how you got that information, but you already know more than you should. And if you bother us again, you'll be the one with a criminal record. Mm. Uh, but, but, but... Uh, we just made things worse for Mr. Pinter. Is that what detectives do, Charlie? Humiliate the victim? We need to apologize. Pinter hasn't come back yet, but check this out! It's okay, Pinter. Hmm? Everything will this out. confirms it! The handwriting on the blackmail note matches the handwriting on Titus's fan photo! Titus is a blackmailer! He's 
What? Failing his best friend? I have some bad news. I just received a text from Mr. Pinter. He says he's quitting the play. Oh, no. Why? I'm afraid he doesn't say. It must be something serious. Poor Werner. I don't know what we'll do. Don't worry, Miss Janice. I'll finish what he started. I'm a theater <sighs> professional myself, as you know. Oh, Mr. Titus, thank you so much. Werner is my dearest friend. If he's in trouble, I'm happy to help. Uh, we need to talk to Mr. Pinter. Could you give us his number or his address? I'm afraid I can't. School rules. And anyway, I tried to call him and he didn't answer. I think I know where he might be. But we'll go there alone. Huh? Guess Fred's the boss now. Uh, is there anybody here? Oh. Ah! Oh. What do you want now? I came to apologize. We were trying to help you, honest. <sighs> well, there's no help in me. It was just a matter of time. Is it the criminal record? So you found out. <sighs> I don't <sighs> know what you did, but it can't be that bad. Oh, I've been in jail, Fred, for breaking and entering. <gasps> my family was poor and couldn't pay for my theater studies, but I was set on becoming a playwright. I needed the money. Titus knows about it, doesn't he? Yes, and if he tells what he knows, my career will be over. I've had to put him in every single one of my plays. No exceptions. That's what it meant. So you did read the note. I kept the school play a secret from him. I didn't want him around you kids. But he found out about it. So you gave him Siggy's role. I felt terrible. That's why I wanted a loan. To try and buy Titus off once and for all. But it's hopeless. That's not fair. Oh. I accept your apology, Fred. Mm. This wasn't your fault. It was mine. I'm quitting theater for good. That's the only way I'll get rid of Titus. And my past. Oh, Mr. Pinter, please. Don't leave us yet. Come back for opening night. We need you. Huh? Okay, that's only fair. You shouldn't be the ones paying for this. <laughs> okay, I got him to come back. But we have to do something dramatic now, to make things better for him. What's the plan? Well, the play is obviously about Pinter himself, about his own guilt, and I think we can use that to our advantage. What do you mean? I have an idea, a way to free Pinter from Titus, using the play itself. Huh? Come on, we have a lot to prepare before tomorrow night. <sighs> All right, people, please start taking your seats. The play will begin in 15 minutes. Hi, kids. What's the matter? We have a message from Mr. Pinter. Oh, is he back again? That's great. He's decided to change things in the last scene. Here are your new lines. Uh-huh. Is he sure about this? Quite a change. I think I should talk to him. No! Huh? Mm -hmm. What Fred means is, Pinter is very busy right now. He has a lot on his mind. That's why he didn't come to tell you this himself. Well, all right, thank you. Now, Scram, I have new lines to study. But Mom, what will happen to us? Dad, we have to do something. Oh. It's going pretty well, don't you think? Yes, I'm proud of everyone. <sighs> it's okay, Philip. Everything will turn out fine. I'm sorry, son. <sighs> it's time to leave now. See that? He kissed her! That was my kiss and he stole it! Come on, Fred. We have more important things to deal with. Uh, huh? 30 seconds to final scene. <laughs> Miss Carpenter, you're being tried for breaking and entering. Did she say breaking and entering? <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself? It was a mistake, Your Honor. My family was poor and had no money to pay for my studies. 
I was desperate. I thought dropping out would ruin my future, and I didn't know what to do. What? <laughs> what is this? Uh, don't worry, uh, Mr. Pinter. Just uh, wait and see. In that case, it's obvious that you were in an extreme situation, and that you're sorry you had to do it. Besides, it was a long time ago. I hereby declare you not guilty. What? But she's a criminal. That's what you're supposed to say. Oh. Dad, how can you say that? She's oh. your wife. <laughs> what she did is wrong. She should be condemned for this. Right? Right? No, you were wrong. What? Huh? How dare you boo me? I'm the best actor in this lousy play. This is all your fault. This is not how it was supposed to go. You changed the lines on purpose. <gasps> that guy's crazy. <gasps> Shut up! <laughs> Silence. What are you doing? Let her go! I'm tired of you, Bruce. You don't tell me what I can and cannot do. Huh? Please, Mr. Titus. <gasps> I've had it with you. Huh? It's over, Titus. Huh? 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 <laughs> Titus, you're a great actor. You deserve better than this stupid play. You deserve better than any of Pinter's plays. You bet I do. Who cares what the audience thinks? They're just a bunch of kids and their parents. That's right. Huh? Huh? You thought you could trick me, you fool! No, wait! Oh. Oh. Get off me, you stupid mer- oh. 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 So much, kids. All these years, I believed that everyone would hate me if they knew my secret. The audience's reaction proved you were wrong. Titus has no power over me now, and it's all thanks to you. <gasps> Sorry, Mr. Pinter, but does this mean I get my part back? Oh, of course, Mr. Tomlinson. We still have three more performances. Hurrah! Will you go back to the old ending, Mr. Pinter? I think I like the new one better. So do I. What you all did back there was very brave. And very thoughtful, especially you, Fred. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>